Good morning. Uh, this uh, morning devotion is being recorded for Tuesday, March 5th. I'll start with a happy birthday to my second daughter, Emma, praying for God's blessings on her day and her year. Um, the prayer of the day for our attention this morning, I'm just doing this for this week's devotions, uh, some of the prayers of the day that occur in the Lenten season. Um, for the second Sunday of Lent, Almighty God, you see that we have no power to defend ourselves. Guard and keep us both outwardly and inwardly from all adversities that may happen to the body and all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And is often the case with these little prayers. There is so much there. We start with a confession. We have no power to defend ourselves. It's not something that I like to say. It's not something that I like to admit. It's not something that I think about all that often. I like thinking that I am in control, master of my own fate. No power to defend ourselves. Um, you recognize um, this father whose gracious care we live under, his preservation and his protection of us in our daily life. And how much evil he keeps at bay that we're just not even aware of. Um, and so let's start with that admission. I don't have the power to defend myself. And so I'm going to ask him for two things. The first one, maybe we think about more often. The outward and inward uh, protection from adversities that may happen to the body. Um, I think about a prayer, deliver us from evil. I think about prayers for healing and health and strength. I think about when loved ones are sick or ailing. I think we're pretty uh, accustomed to praying for God's deliverance from that which would affect our body. And why? Um, because uh, as Christians, we don't say body bad and spirit good. We recognize that God has created us both body and soul and that and the body is a useful thing. That the body is what enables us to live and to serve and to bring glory to God and to care for his creation and to care for one another. The, the body is, is absolute blessing united with the soul. And so we pray that the Lord would protect us from the adversities that would happen to our body. But then this prayer, all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul. This prayer teams up well with a reading from Job. Um, imagine all that would have taken a run at destroying Job 
and his faith um, and all the physical calamities that happened to Job, but finally that the Lord would protect our soul, that he would protect our well-being, that he would protect um, our relationship with God, uh, ours through faith, uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to keep those evil thoughts away. When times of suffering would come, St. Paul says, an evil thought says all suffering is, is bad, and, and a God-fearing thought is, but you see what the Lord does through suffering? An evil thought uh, hit St. Peter in Mark's Gospel, that the cross and suffering must be bad and must be avoided at all costs. And, and Jesus goes right after such a thought and he calls it what it is. He calls it satanic. He says, get behind me, Satan. You have in mind not God things, you have in mind man things. And so as we live our life this Tuesday, protection. Protection from things that would harm us bodily, yes, but things that would afflict the soul. And so here I'll commend to you what Luther commends, a good conscience a conscience free from sin, a conscience that lives um, recognizing that our sin done away with in Christ, repentance is the name of this game, that we live and move and have our being. Um, sorry for that which we've done and left undone um, and forgiven freely in Christ. Oh Lord, the powerful one, because I don't have that power to protect us body and soul to your glory. In the name of Jesus, amen. We praise you, O God, we acclaim to us, Lord. All creation worships you, Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, Cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of earthly hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Fellowship of prophets praise you. The white robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your glorious, true, and only Son. And the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, you Christ are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people.
God, you have called your servants to ventures of faith of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus. 